Today we are here at Lala Soap Company focusing on pure, simple, natural ingredients. Lori, tell us a little bit about how this place started. Uh, so I moved back from Vancouver after I had been working for an aromatherapy company there while going to massage therapy college. My mom had sensitivities to commercial brand soaps and my dad was retired and I was waiting to write my board exams for massage therapy and I jokingly asked my dad if he wanted to start making soap for my mom instead of having it shipped from Vancouver and I started researching how to make soap, uh, cold process soap making and from there it just began. Wow, and now we're here so many years later at a storefront, which is absolutely incredible. You walk in here, you smell all the smells, and it's so amazing. What kind of products do you sell here? Oh, we make uh, anything with our brand on it, we make in-house. So we make uh, handmade natural soaps, uh, shower steamers, bath bombs, whipped body butter, lotions. We customize any uh, unscented products like shampoo, conditioner, body wash. What makes your soaps different to other soaps that you can get at like a regular store? So we don't use any artificial ingredients, no artificial colors, no artificial fragrances. And that was one of the, the main reasons I started the company was so that our products are um, good for people that have sensitive skin or are trying to get away from uh, artificial fragrances, things that actually disrupt their hormones or um, can irritate their skin. Not only do you sell soap here, but you also offer workshops so people can actually come into this store and make their own soap. Tell us how that works. So the workshops are uh, two hours long and you make uh, two pounds of cold processed soap. When people come in, we give them um, a, basically an introduction to soap making. So we give them the understanding of the process and go through the safety that's involved because we are working with caustic soda and there is a little bit of some precautions that need to be taken. So we make sure people are wearing uh, goggles, gloves, and an apron and uh, they get to choose their uh, essential oil, so they get to choose their scent, as well as the color that they would like to work with. And then at the end, you get to uh, top them with any type of botanicals or uh, salts, and you take that home and you unmold it the next day and you'll cut it at home. So fun that you actually get to make your own creation and take it home at the end. People can come in here, take a workshop, but you can also host a party. Tell us how that would work. Yeah, people can contact me directly through email at info at lalasoap.com. Uh, I have special dates um, listed already for intro to soap making workshops and uh, they can book online at our website at www.lalasoap.com. This would be absolutely incredible for a bachelorette, a wedding shower, all that fun stuff, but I'm excited to get in there and make my own soap. So let's go try it out. We are now ready to make our soaps and I brought some friends to make soap with today. Come on in. <laughs> and the first step is to pick our colors and our scents. So let's do that. I feel like a scientist. I selected my three essential oils. We've got peppermint, lavender, and rosemary, and now we just have to combine them all into one. We've done our first step, picked our colors and our scents, and now we're here in the kitchen getting ready to make some soap. So Lori, what is the first step here? Christina, we're going to take our bowls and your ladle and you're going to come over to the coconut and palm oil station. You're going to weigh out your oils and then once you're done doing that, you're going to go to the induction cooktop and you're going to melt your oils. Okay, let's get to it. So first of all, we're going to get some coconut oil and we need 10 ounces of this stuff. Perfect. Okay, on to the palm oil. Now that we've got the base, we're just mixing it all together until it melts, and then we'll add everything together. Mm -hmm. 
Now that you've melted your oils and added everything for your base, you just need to cool it down because we're going to be working at about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. So you can go over to the cooling bath and mix your um, mixture to cool it down. Use your thermometer and your ladle. Sounds good. I'll bring my thermometer with me. Let's go. All right. We are now done. It is set to 100 degrees. What's the next step here? Okay, so now I'm going to pour your live water mixture for you. You're gonna check the temperature on that. We wanna be working within 10 degrees of uh, both solutions. So if this is 100 degrees, the live solution either needs to be 90 or 110. So I'll go and pour that for you now. Okay, so much math. Got my goggles on and it's time to get mixing. gonna look really nice. Let's see this color. Mm. And what is this that we're putting in? This is indigo root powder. Indigo root powder. Should I mix it in? Go ahead. Here we go. And then oh, cool. you want to make sure you get all the little pieces of indigo look mixed at this. in. Oh this my. is so pretty. Oh my gosh, this is oh and now we're adding spirulina. Green. All of these ingredients probably so good for you. Yeah, they add lots of great properties for your skin. They're full of antioxidants, anti-inflammatory. And they're really pretty. Central oil time. Okay, and then use your ladle for that one first so it doesn't splash mix that in really well. Oh, that smells so good. Just automatically, you're just getting hit with that smell, the peppermint, the rosemary, the lavender. So good. And now, time for the final pour. Oops, that could have been bad, but we saved the day. That's okay. We've poured it into the box and we've waited for it to firm up and now it's time to decorate. So I'm gonna go in with a spoon, give it a design and then put these toppings on top. So we got calendula flower. Nice yellow. Next step on the docket, we have rosebuds. And then finally, some heather flower to top it off. Usually this takes 24 hours to dry, but with a little TV magic, We've got our box right here, ready to cut. So usually you would cut this soap at home, but because of TV magic, we're able to actually be here in the kitchen using a professional soap cutter. So here we go. As you can see, when you're making soap here at Lala, you don't just get one bar of soap, you get two pounds of it, which for me, 
is going to be about 16 bars of soap. I had so much fun during the soap making workshop today. If you want pure, simple, natural products or to make them yourself, go to lalasoap.com.